How did Norman Reedus help Melissa McBride trace her ancestors? Which real life couple is a part of the Walking Dead cast? And what were the epic pranks Norman Reedus and Andrew Lincoln pulled on each other? Hi, I'm Dan, let's dive in. Daryl and Carol are the real thing IRL. The Walking Dead fans have stood by the slogan, if Daryl dies, we riot, ever since the first season. And we bet that Norman Reedus' castmates would do the same if such a tragedy happened. After 10 seasons of the show, it's fair to say the entire cast have become quite close friends, but some of them are especially close. As Norman himself admits, Daryl's relationship with Carol has always been his favorite relationship on the show. These characters have an exceptional bond with an intriguing fondness for one another, which is definitely one of the reasons for The Walking Dead's popularity. In real life, Reedus and Melissa McBride have also become good friends. They even travel to Scotland together to trace the footsteps of Melissa's long-lost relatives. The die-hard Walking Dead fans know that Daryl Dixon picked up his love of motorcycles from the actor who portrays it. And in his own show, Ride with Norman Reedus, he hits the open road with his best buddies. Melissa shared in an interview that she never imagined she would take such a trip on a motorbike, but it turned out to be an incredible experience. It was so much fun to share this with Norman. Him providing that opportunity to me is something I will never forget. Apart from McBride, several other Walking Dead castmates have guest starred in Norman's show, including Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Stephen Yun, and Rick Grimes himself, Andrew Lincoln. By the way, many people claim that Andrew was kind of a father figure for the entire cast and immediately gained the love of all who joined the team. And Norman Reedus confirmed this by saying, he's first to work, he's the last one to leave. And when new people come on, he's the first person to shake their hands and welcome them to the show. That's why with Lincoln's exit from The Walking Dead, Norman had to say goodbye to not just a cast member, but a friend. It was hard to get over Lincoln's departure. Norman Reedus admitted that he actually didn't agree with his longtime co-star's decision to leave the show. At the same time, he understood why Andrew opted to step away after almost a decade as Rick Grimes. During this time, the two became really close friends. He knows my family, I know his family, says Reedus. I've been to his house in England, we've been to Costa Rica, he taught me to surf, he's one of my best friends and always will be. Amazingly, Lincoln began planning his departure as far back as season four because he wasn't able to see his kids as much as he wanted to. So Reedus, also a father of two, reluctantly had to bid farewell to Lincoln in season nine. But he found it really depressing to be on set without his best buddy. It turns out, Andrew and Norman had a habit of having lunch together in Reedus's trailer, and the first days without Lincoln felt weird. I take my lunch back to the trailer, and I'm just kind of sitting there quietly for a good 45 minutes because I've never not had lunch in my trailer with him in nine years, revealed the actor. And although all the Walking Dead cast members were saddened by Lincoln's departure, Reedus was the only one who decided to keep a bizarre souvenir to remind him of his missing partner. In his trailer, there is a chair that Andrew sat on during his last day. Incredibly, it is stained because the actor went straight from shooting to lunch, even though he had fake blood all over himself. He had left an imprint of his body and blood on it, like the shroud of Rick Grimes, revealed Norman. They came in to clean it up, and I'm like, leave it there! He also shared that he secretly kept sending his friend the scripts of the new episodes so that Andrew would give his notes on them. These two biggest Walking Dead stars remain friends to this day. Moreover, they continue to uphold the practical joke tradition established during their first season on the show. But we'll get back to that a little bit later. Killer chemistry on and off screen. There's one more couple on The Walking Dead that share a special bond. We're talking about Rick and Michonne, of course. Andrew Lincoln and Denai Gurira have plenty of chemistry on screen, and they're close friends in real life, too. During several interviews, they were often caught having personal banter with one another, or Andrew planting kisses on Denai's forehead, or simply making her smile from ear to ear. Obviously, both actors enjoyed working together. When Lincoln exited the show, Denai had a heartbreaking goodbye for him. During a press conference, she shared that she truly believed Lincoln was the best leading man on television. His leadership, his character, his discipline, discipline, his heart, his generosity, his kindness have really paved a path for all of us to understand how to carry on without him, even though it's extremely painful to. So it's no wonder that Lincoln also celebrated Gurira's departure from the show in a very special way. He recorded a cute farewell message for his former co-star, which even included a serenade. Andrew sang his own version of the Bond theme, Live and Let Die, changing the words into Simply Love You, Deny. Also, he recalled their first scene together on The Walking Dead, and how it became one of the most embarrassing moments of his career. In the scene, Michonne collapsed, 
and the whole production crew urged Andrew that he shouldn't try to pick her up, but the actor insisted. Oh no, I wanted to be a hero, I picked you up, uh, I managed about three steps and I dropped you. Then I fell on you. Lincoln admitted that he was still sorry for the incident and called Denai the most marvelous, talented, dignified, honorable, classy, and gorgeous girl he was lucky to work with. And while we wait for the 11th season and hope that Rick and Michonne reunite, we can't help mentioning another couple that has stepped into the spotlight. Since Negan's arrival, Jeffrey Dean Morgan has expressed interest in going deeper into his character's origins, particularly his relationship with his wife Lucille. And she is finally set to be introduced this February during the bonus bridge episodes between seasons 10 and 11. Surprisingly or not, the show has cast Hilary Burton to portray Lucille, which is very appropriate as she and Jeffrey Dean Morgan are are married in real life. According to Hillary, it was a unique opportunity for the two, because although they do many things together, like raising kids, running a farm, doing charity events, and buying a candy store, it's the first time they've ever acted together. Oh, we can't wait to watch these flashbacks that flesh out Negan's backstory. Feels so good, it's hard to leave. Maggie and Glenn became the first couple of the zombie apocalypse, so it's no wonder that Steven Yeun and Lauren Cohan, who portrayed them, were rumored to be dating in real life as well. Lauren has always tried to keep her love life out of the public eye, but she did comment on the gossip. She told Rolling Stone, There are entire websites dedicated to the proof that Steven and I are in a real relationship, which is always funny because it's not. However, soon after Steven's departure from the show, she called him one of my dearest friends in life. As we all remember, Cohan also left The Walking Dead following a bloody end to Maggie's marriage, but returned to the show in season 10. Lauren revealed that her re-entry felt like coming home, as she stayed in touch with the cast and crew on a regular basis. It's incredible, in so many ways I never felt far from the show, but being all together in one place again was really special, like a college reunion. But Lauren wasn't the only actor who longed to return to the show, and no, it is not Andrew Lincoln, although he recently joked that quitting his role as Rick Grimes was a terrible decision. I came back home for the kids, and now they're sick of me. I wish I'd never left. Jokes aside, Michael Cudlitz was the one who came back to the show after his character Abraham was killed off. Cudlitz directed three episodes of The Walking Dead and called his behind-the-camera return in a new capacity the best of both worlds. I was welcomed back so lovingly and taken care of by the crew and the cast. I had a wonderful experience being able to direct the people that I have long-standing, amazing relationships with. The fans also hoped that Andrew Lincoln would return as director as well, but unfortunately it never happened because of scheduling conflicts. A prank war spanning years. The events on The Walking Dead are often quite dire, and the process of filming it can also be very intense. So it's not surprising to hear that the cast find ways to lighten the mood, and pranks are a surefire way to do that. Andrew Lincoln and Norman Reedus have been locked in an epic prank war for as long as the show is run. Kari Payton, who plays Ezekiel, remembers getting caught between the two. During his first season on the show, Norman tried to get him to load a bunch of goats into Andy's trailer. We had a bunch of goats in the kingdom, and he was like, dude, help me get these goats in. I was like, this is my first day, dude. I'm not going to put no goats in his trailer. Still, Reedus has managed to play a trick on Lincoln without accomplices. It turns out he speaks Japanese just enough to set his buddy up for embarrassment on live Japanese television. Once, when the cast were speaking to press in Japan, Andrew Lincoln asked him how to say thank you for having me in your country. But Reedus taught him another phrase instead, which is, where's the toilet? We bet that the reaction to Andrew saying that was just epic. Amazingly, we can actually see some pranks on screen too. For instance, during the very last scene that was shot with Lincoln, he was supposed to smile and it was a close-up, so Rita sneaked in and tickled Andrew's feet to make him smile. He liked it, the actor recalled. He kept asking me to do it. So the last scene that he shot on this show, I'm below camera tickling his feet. The prank tradition continued after Andrew's exit from The Walking Dead, and even Lockdown hasn't stopped the pair taking playful swipes at each other. According to Reedus, it's hard to keep up the prank war during COVID, but he is trying hard. Explaining one of his latest stunts, Reedus recounted that he found a couple of photos that were super humiliating and sent them to Andrew. There was some story about a guy in England who ate a pigeon in the middle of a park, and I sent it to him, and I'm like, oh shit, they caught you. Such pranks definitely require a strong relationship between those engaging in the war. So, something tells us this rivalry isn't going anywhere anytime soon, so we'll keep an eye on these two. And who are your faves on The Walking Dead? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for staying awesome!